Hello, my friends. How you doing today? I am doing... Ah, uh, man. You know, if I told you I was doing well, that I'd be lying. i just been like... I, I, I've, been having, I've been having some messed up dreams lately, okay? I gotta tell you, I've been having some messed up dreams. I literally this morning woke up and had a dream that I was on vacation from a job that I haven't worked at in about uh, 25 years, okay? I literally almost didn't go to work today because I believed in my head that I was having a vacation day. And uh, the wife came in this morning and she was like very quick with a, oh, you have a nice day, and she left. And I'm like, she walked out the door and I'm like, where am I? Listen, this is a major problem. Okay, I don't know if this is an Alzheimer's problem. I don't know if this is a dementia problem. I don't know what kind of problem this is. But I really, really almost didn't go to work this morning because I really believed that I was on vacation from a job that I haven't worked at in like 25 years. That's a problem. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Okay, and then it made me sad that I was like not on vacation. <laughs> and I started getting really... I'm like, once it... Once I got to the foot of the bed and I realized that this is a different time and a different place, as I, matter of fact, as I looked at my medication that was lined up at the bottom of the bed, which is which is a norm, and I'm like, oh, I got to take that, 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 and that. It hit me. I'm like, I wasn't taking this much medication like 25 years ago or 20, 20 something years ago, and this, I'm, I'm in a different. I'm, I'm still, I'm a preschool teacher. I'm not driving a forklift anymore. I, this is not my job. I'm not on vacation. I gotta get, I gotta get to work. I'll be late. I got like 20 minutes to get ready and get to work right away. And it, it totally messed me up. I was like, I'm losing my mind. I'm literally losing my mind. Um, and then, um, I got home. I'm, I'm racing home because after, after school and everything. And I'm, and I'm like, I want to make some videos. I want to make a couple, I want to at least record two videos. And uh, I'm, I'm driving home really fast. I'm getting a message from my wife. They're like, oh, she's like, um, the guy that's working on the car, he wants to pop from the car. And I'm like, oh, man, but I want to record today. I don't want to go bring a pot to a car. And, and, and But I, I need to get the car fixed. And, 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 and like, everything just went down. Everything went it's not, it's, I was, like, up here. And I went, you know what I mean? It's like, and it all started this morning. I, I literally drove into work this morning with, like, almost, like, tears rolling out of my eyes. Because I was like, man, I don't think I, I'm stable enough to be here today. I don't, I don't think I should be here today. I, I, I think I need to be uh, at home resting on my, my vacation from my 25-year-ago old job. Um, but life must go on and I must, uh, open up packages and make memories with my friends here. And that's why I have you around. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little humble here and tell you, uh, I want to give you a big thank you. Um, I want to thank you for your subscriptions. I want to thank you for your comments. I want to thank you for, um, setting me straight sometimes. Okay. There are some times when I get down and I get a little confused and I get a little messed up and I do have some many, many, many supporters that uh, leave comments that are very uplifting, make make sense. Sometimes I don't make sense. I don't make money dollars either, but, but sometimes I'm, I sometimes my mind does not make sense. And then you guys chime in with something and I'm like, wow, you know, that that makes perfect sense. And uh, you kind of pull me out of that rut that I'm in. Like I woke up this morning. I was in a rut. I, I I drove into the school and the kids were like, "You okay? You okay?" And I'm like, huh. you know, it's like it's like a one tear roll, on, one single tear. I thought it was because it was cold. Was one single tear roll on my eyes. I'm like, nah, I think I'm a mess. There's something something not right today. But this uh package right here comes from Blow Out of Here video. And Blow Out of Here video, as you know, uh, is my uh, go to place. For for a while now, I buy three titles usually because you get 20% off or 16% off. And you, um, so your last one is pretty much almost free. That's that's what I got to say. You pay, you pay, you got to pay for the first two. Last one is almost nothing. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull all three out of I, I never do this. I'm pulling all three out of these. They use that, um, I'm going to show you this. They use that sticky, sticky stuff there, which is really good for, I mean, shipping because your, your discs don't. Move around, but not really good for trying to slide the discs out of the thing. All right. Three titles, and I'll tell you why I purchased Oh, good. I'll tell you exactly why I purchased them. And they're actually pretty good. All right, here we go. I, I'm talking to myself here. No, I'm well, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to myself because technically I'm talking to a camera, and talking into the camera is really talking to myself. And it's... This is crack. Yeah, my kids think I'm weird. Anyway, um... First title I have was a filler. I'm calling it a filler because I didn't need to upgrade it. Didn't really care to upgrade it. But in order for me to get my discount, in order for me to get the title I actually wanted, or the titles I actually wanted, 
Um, I had to get one extra one that kind of was just a filler. And the movie is Jim Carrey and Me, Myself, and Irene. Now, this is not a bad movie. This is a good movie, actually. But it's not a movie. It's not a Jim Carrey movie that I watch over and over and over again. I will tell you that my wife loves this movie. She will put the, I'll put this on and she will laugh her head off. I'm at the point where I've seen it so many times that I know where the gags are going to happen. So it's, I don't think it's that funny anymore. I don't think uh, Renee Zellweger is that funny in it. And um, Jim Carrey... I, I don't know. I don't know if this is the was the peak of his career or the mid peak of his career. What was going on with his career? But he was he was still Jim Carrey. He was still funny, but it just didn't have like an Ace Ventura, you know, vibe to it. I don't know. It, 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 even the Living Color didn't even have a Living Color vibe to it. I don't know. It had it had some funny scenes. I think the fat the problem I had with it was that it was rated R and it was kind of really really raunchy. And I like my Jim Carrey not so raunchy. Okay, does that that make sense to you? I'm I'm sorry, but there's certain comedians that that pull off raunchy comedy, you know, and there's some comedians that that they're better with their PG PG thirteen rated comedy, and 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 me myself and Irene was was kind of a a rough watch to see Jim Carrey do the things or say the things that he said in that. Well, it was no Dumb and Dumber. That's all I said. No Dumb and Dumber there. Um, next one is one that I I needed to get, wanted to get, and I got it. Uh, yeah, it's not Christmas time, but I know that this is going to come in handy at Christmas time. And I wanted to buy it now because I'm pretty sure it's going out of print. Uh, and it's a little pricey. I did pay 20, I want to say this was going for like $24 or $25 on the blowout of here site. Um, but it's, it's funny because it's my wife's favorite Christmas movie. And Christmas does not start until we watch this movie together as a family. Now, I will tell you that. I was never a big fan of it. I I kind of thought it kind of sucked. I thought it was a I thought it was one of the crappiest Christmas movies that we watch at Christmas time. But after watching it for probably the last five, six, seven, eight years or whatever, um, I'm finding that it kind of grew on me in in a way that I was like, I need to upgrade this from DVD to Blu-ray. And it is Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis in Christmas with the Cranks. Yeah, it's just something about it. I'm, I I don't know if it's Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd's in it too. There's just something about it that gives me a jingle all the way Christmas vacation vibe where it's like it now now it's turned into a absolute must to watch at Christmas time. Yeah, it's 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 become something. And for some reason it's getting difficult to find. It's a lot of money on Amazon. Blow out of here, I want to say twenty, twenty three, twenty four dollars or whatever. But like I said, you get a discount when you when you get that third one or whatever. And I was like, I might as well grab it and upgrade it now before it becomes something I can't get anymore or becomes out of print and then it's a struggle. And um, the only the only special feature on this thing is the theatrical trailer. That's it. But the real purpose for me buying all of these, and, and this was also out of print, a lot of money going up. And I, I had this deep fear in my heart of like Dutch and... Um, uh, Lucas and all of my favorite movies that I watched when I was a kid growing up and I know this isn't as old as them but it's definitely something that I watched and cherished with my kids growing up and we loved watching this movie together and I only had it on on DVD I wanted to upgrade it because to be perfectly honest with you, the DVD quality is is not that great I I have not watched it on Blu-ray yet yet so uh, yet 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 why well, I said yet 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 a lot yet 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 that was way too many yets um so I do not know how much of an upgrade I got here. But it is, the flippers are going a little bit crazy on eBay and Amazon. It's way too overpriced. And it is Jim Carrey and Matthew Broderick in The Cable Guy. Yes, this is how I like my Jim Carrey. This this was his doc comedy. This was his, people didn't know what to make of this thing. But I'll tell you, it has Matthew Broderick in it. And anything with Matthew Broderick in it, I usually love, Okay. And when I watched this for the first time with my children, I watched it by myself for the first time, I didn't know what to make of it. I was like, should I be laughing? Should I be scared? Was this a horror? Was this a comedy? What was this about? I, I didn't, I was like on the fence. And it's one of them that the more you watch it, the more you appreciate it. Okay. There's movies like that out there that are like that. It's just, it's just, you watch it the first time and you're like, ah, yeah, I didn't really get it. Watch it the second time. You're like, whoa, that was pretty good. And then you watch it the third time. And then you just keep watching it for eternity. You just keep watching it. It just becomes a regular view for you. And you're like, this is a good movie. I mean, it's it's 
a scary truth that there are people out there that are probably just as psychotic as Jim Carrey in this movie. That you, the guy that's installing your cable may very well need a friend, and, and the friend may very well be Matthew Broderick. Okay, and um, this was just a great, great doc comedy, and 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 that's what they classify as. And I'm not trying to dog it. They doc it. They 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 they, clar they clarify. They 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 specifically call it a doc comedy. Because you don't really know what to make out of it. Is it a horror? Is it a comedy? Is it a, a thriller? It's got a whole bunch of stuff going on in it. But the one thing it does have is Jim Carrey at his peak of acting excellency. Okay, I got, I got to tell you, his acting excellency. This guy, he... he. It's funny because he tries to befriend Matthew Broderick. And Matthew Broderick, you know, uh, kind of... He just wants free cable, so he kind of eggs the guy along and everything. But I will tell you that... Uh, Jim Carrey in this movie would probably make a really good friend of mine. Okay, I think me and him we ain't too far off. We ain't too far off mentally as far as uh, needing something in our lives or whatever. And when people actually um, befriend us, we, we we have a hard time letting go of those special people in our lives that you know we want to be friends with. And and yeah, I kind of I kind of related with the Jim Carrey character in this. And I know you're probably looking at it like he he played. He, if I remember correctly, didn't he play like a, a psycho guy that was like totally like ruined this guy's life because he wanted to be his best friend because he because he, he met him as a cape. Yes, you're right. Yes, but I know I know never once did I ever say that I was right. Okay, there's just some crazy people out there. I might be one of those. I, listen, I've been told that I am crazy in a good way. I'm crazy in a loving, taking care of children, funny kind of way. Like listen, I, I do crazy stuff at work, but the crazy stuff at work is crazy in a positive fashion, okay? I don't do crazy stuff at work to harm a child. I do crazy stuff at work to make children laugh, have a good time. I Listen, I work with puppets. I, I, I do magic tricks, okay? I'm not normal, okay? That's just the bottom line, okay? I dress up like a big pink bunny for for uh, for Christmas, okay? I dress up like Santa Claus, okay? I, there's a lot of different things that I do that just are not normal, okay? But I'll do it any pretty much anything for to, to make a child laugh or smile. So, yeah, okay. cable guy. It's great. Um, I do have one purple one over here that I was gonna save for another video, but it's it's kind of just sticking in my face, and um, it's purple, and it's the last thing that's over here. So why why save it for another video? Wait for things to pile up or whatever. Why don't I just do this now? This came from uh, Flower Mountain, Texas, and uh, the person that came from was the Valhalla Group, Valhalla Group LLC. Oh. And I'm having, ooh, Valhalla Group M LLC. I'm not having a hard time opening up the Valhalla Group LLC. Amen. No slip cover. I see a pack and slip here. I don't want to read the pack and slip because I'll know exactly what it is. Uh, I will tell you, I paid twenty two ninety nine for this title. So if I pay twenty two ninety nine for this title, that means this has got to be some kind of out of print or some kind of gem that. I, I need it in my collection. So what what is it? Uh, it is a gem. It is a gem. All right. This is, if you've never heard of this before, in the U.S., it was called The Villain. That's all I remember being called was The Villain. It was, it was, it was great. Uh, I'm going to show you the cover of this thing. It's called, and, and this, this is actually a foreign release because it is not available in the US but it is this is, is a region A B and C so you can play this in any blu-ray player and it's the villain cactus jack now the only thing i'm skeptical about this is is this like a burnt thing is this i, I hope i hope for $22.99 okay so the villain cactus jack let me just tell you the story very very carefully um stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and Margaret and Kirk Douglas now Arnold Schwarzenegger is, this is a Western. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a stagecoach driver. And he's driving Anne Margaret across the country to some, some destination that I can't remember. Um, and my friend over here, Kirk Douglas, is the villain. He's he's out to get um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, whose name in the movie is Mr. Handsome Stranger. Yep, that, yeah, yeah, you, you heard me right. His title in this movie is Mr. Handsome Stranger. He wears these really clean, blue, skin-tight um, cowboy outfit. And he's like this goody two-shoes, nice guy or whatever. 
And Kirk Douglas, no matter what he does to try to ambush or or kidnap or try to get the Anne Margaret character, he ends up messing something up. He falls down. It's a it's a slapstick comedy with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I used to watch this over and over and over again when I was like, I, I got to say, maybe I was, what year did this thing come out? Let me see. Uh, please, please there, Mr. Foreign Title. Give me the year the movie came out. Oh, you're not going to do this to me, are you? Well, most of it's in English down the bottom. I wish it would have just popped right out and said what, what year it was. I have no idea. But I remember 88 minutes, 1979. 1979. At 1979, I was... Oof, bleh. I want to age myself. Let's say I was maybe seven. Okay, let's say maybe. Not it wasn't though. Let's say let's say that it aired on Showtime, Cinemax, or HBO when I was like seven years old or whatever. Um, I would watch this over and over and over again. It's rated PG. It's not a uh, rated R movie. It, so it came on like over and over again. And if you had like the Showtime Cinemax bundle or whatever. Showtime would have it on, and then, and then like, three hours later, Cinemax would have it on. So I would watch it. The only thing I'm curious about is, because this is what they're calling a foreign title, and I did pay a lot of money for it because I just love the movie that much. I mean, I have it, I have it on DVD, but it's a terrible, terrible transfer. It's because it's such a, it's a 70, 1979 movie, and they really didn't do anything with it to put it on the DVD. So I was hoping that we, I would be able to get a Blu-ray title, and I looked it up. And uh, I did find the Blu-ray. Now, here is the moment of, moment of truth. Now, if the disc is black, okay, I, I'm going to start, start a new rhyme. If the disc is black, then the Blu-ray is whack. Okay, how do you think about that? But if the disc is silver, uh, nothing rhymes with silver. Um, nope. <laughs> if the disc is silver, we good. Okay, that's all I got to say. Please don't be black. It's silver. Silver, yes! This is an official release. It has a barcode. The last test that I could possibly do here is there's a barcode. Here's my phone. Hold on a second. Hold your excitement. I'm going to my uh my my movie five pro thing there. No, we don't want to synchronize nothing right now because I want to see if this if I scan this barcode in. No, I I don't want to. Oh man, not a, it wanted me to. Uh, sugar. Hang on a second, people. The problem is with this uh this this app that I use to um to catalog my stuff is every time you turn on your phone or your tablet or whatever, it wants to synchronize everything that you scanned in prior from whatever. So if I scanned in stuff on my tablet, then what it does is it wants to synchronize all the things I scanned in on my tablet onto my phone. If I scanned in on my phone, it, vice versa. You know what I mean? So so it won't let me do anything until it synchronizes. Synchronizes is done though. It is fast. It is fast. Okay. So yeah, I was able to. So I hit this thing, and it shows you this little barcode thingamajiggy here. Um, and I scan the barcode over here, and it tells me no movies are found. Uh, show results in different countries. That's fine. Okay. It's fine that it shows up that because that proves that this is was a foreign release. But it, it is an official release if I hit this yes button and it says, so I'll show you right here what, it, what, it's, what it's saying right here. Let me cover my camera up so you can see this whole thing there. That's what I'm seeing right there. So it says, it says, uh, no movies found, show, show results in different countries, yes, no, or report missing. Okay? So I am going to hit yes. And when I hit yes, boom, there it is. Cactus Jack, 1979. It is officially there. I hit select. So it's now in my databanks. Done. Select. Done. And it is storing now in my system. Put that there. And I actually have an official. Now I have an official release. Uh, ABC region. Not region locked. So it plays in anything. Of the villain. Or Cactus Jack is what they call this thing. I do like the cover up. Okay, I do. I, I'm digging the cover art, and I do like the back. Okay, it does. It 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 just it it speaks the movie. It it feeds the movie. I mean, it's it just it, if you saw it, you'd be like, wow. I mean, and, and I got to tell you too, Anne Margaret. Now, I, listen. I know I was. This was. I know I was like seven years old or whatever. But Anne Margaret in this movie is damn. Okay, I got to damn. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I gotta say is she she was damn in this movie. I I. I've always had a, a, like a little redhead thing there, whatever, and and she's 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 like got red hair in this movie. I don't know if she normally has red hair, uh, but 
and Arnold Schwarzenegger was just funny. This is this was Arnold Schwarzenegger when this is Arnold. I'm just I'm just barely speaking English. Uh, I may very well be overdubbed with half of my stuff. Um, just came out of uh, Hercules in New York. Uh, I think it was like a, this might have been very well the second movie that I think he's ever ever did besides uh, uh, Scavenger Hunt. He had a cameo in Scavenger Hunt and he did that Pumping Iron movie and everything. This was a great movie. Okay, so if you can get your hands on the villain slash Cactus Jack, you're gonna love it. I promise you. I promise you. As as a movie collector, okay, if you have never seen this, find it, get it, watch it. You are gonna enjoy it. It's funny. It's interesting. It's slapstick. It's comedy. It's everything you're gonna want in in a Saturday afternoon laugh. Okay, it's 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 a classic. And with that said, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. If you could please do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Uh, ring the bell for the notifications and anything else you could do to possibly help. Because this, I want this channel to thrive. And it only thrives if you guys subscribe. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you later. You should have saved me some. Goodbye.